Today, Lexington County law enforcement arrested a South Congaree landlord accused of trying to rent a mobile home in a park that's closing next month. Naomi Halter, yeah, yeah, Naomi Halter faces a charge for operating without a business license. A Lexington County judge granted Halter a personal recognizance bond, meaning that she was able to bond out of jail without putting up any money. Chief investigative reporter Chris Joseph live in South Congaree and has been following Halter's saga for months. So Chris, what happened here? Greg, this all begins this summer. The town took away her business licenses because some of her properties were a drain on town resources and violating town ordinances. Then in November, the town council gave her until March to get everybody out of those parks, evict them effectively. Well, the South Congaree Police Department says she was bringing people back in. And I would vote yes. Motion passes. With that November vote, the South Congaree Town vote? Council unanimously voted to do two things. First, deny Naomi Halter's appeal to get her business licenses back for her four mobile home parks. Second, create a timeline for everyone in those parks to be evicted by early March. The vote came after we found roaches and leaking wastewater when we visited some of those parks this fall. South Congaree Police Chief Josh Schumpert says the message didn't get through. I don't know. I don't know if she doesn't uh, quite get it or she um, just ignoring uh, what we're, we're trying to, uh, the town's trying to accomplish here with wanting her to, to clean up her properties. His department issued a warrant for Halter's arrest after investigating a tip that she continued to rent a property on Santa Circle. I went to speak with the renters. Well, I worked with the guy that was renting from Naomi Holt and, and he, he advised us to call her and she said she had a few trailers that were for rent. Michael Kenyon says he and his mother moved in before the new year. The warrant says they gave Halter $1,500 for the first month's rent and a security deposit. How much research did you do into this place, if any? We didn't have any time to do any research, so we were not aware of anything that she was doing. So you just had to go? We had to move, we had to go, and this is where we ended up. That landed Halter in jail for the misdemeanor charge of operating without a business license. The judge didn't let me record audio, but Halter and her attorney, Will Edwards, asked for a personal recognizance bond, and it was granted. Edwards declined to answer questions for this story. How's your mom doing? Holding up with all this. She broke down crying because we finally thought we found somewhere to live for a while and she's still got to go to work. She's getting over COVID. I'm getting over COVID. I'm, we're good, but she's just broken down crying. She don't know what to do. Kenyon says he doesn't know where they're going to go next, but is hopeful they get the $1,500 back. Town ordinances require Halter to tell those residents that they have to leave on January 31st, that they have 30 days from that point to move on. I spoke with several residents who say they're aware of this timeline, and after a few months now since that decision was made, they still don't know where they're going to go, and they're concerned that they're going to run out of time. Reporting in South Congaree, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10. And Halter is scheduled to be back in court on the criminal charge on January 25th.